is going on my super sandwiches rhyme style here and today brings for dragon ball z dokkan battle surprise surprise today i'm actually doing something that i never thought i would ever say on my channel which i know it's gonna sound to, to hear you guys hear this but it's as just as weird as it for me i'm going for a hundred percent gohan as you guys know i pulled my intelligence go oh i'm not gonna go through the freaking cards because it'll take forever to find it i pulled my third actually taking my fourth lr gohan dupe a couple of days ago actually like two weeks ago now and i'm missing one more if I can pull one more LR Gohan and get enough orbs, I can finally get to 100%. And uh, I figure, you know what? This just came back. I just attempted this on Global yesterday. And by the way, I forgot to post my poll in yesterday's video, which I will try to do in this one. Uh, and the poll is, what kind of Dokkan content do you guys prefer the most between summons, discussions, races, uh, showcases, yada, yada, yada. So please vote on that because that's going to determine uh, what kind of content I put out on the channel as far as Dokkan. Uh, because right now, Dokkan is kind of hurting as far as new events and stuff. And until Boss Star 6 comes out or something else, like multiplayer, um, all the events are kind of redundant at this point. But then again, if you guys like seeing that stuff, this is your chance to let me know. Please let me know. Hit that button up there, vote, and then we'll take it from there. 3,000 likes is the goal as always. I'm going to go ahead and jump in. If I manage to get to 100%, that's something I'm going to always have over Nano. I'll finally have beaten him. I'll get into 100% LR first. It's like the Battle of the Whales at this point. So here we go, jump into the first one. I'm only going to do 185 stones, uh, three multis, the rest are singles. I'm going to do them all in this banner. I thought about maybe going to a couple on the other banner, but uh, you know what, screw it, because an LR could be pulled. Uh-oh, uh it's laggy. An LR could be pulled after all the singles as well, so we'll, we'll see what happens. What you guys just saw, by the way, is a uh, <laughs> another example of my iPhone dying. I have an iPhone 6, which is a couple miles behind. It is really, really bad, and uh, I'm waiting for the iPhone 10 to get released or uh, the pre-orders will go up to get that because I figure if I'm going to spend a lot of money on the iPhone I might as well get the 10 so I'm, I'm waiting but <laughs> I'm struggling so bad with this phone it's also another reason why I haven't done many races in the past couple of um, weeks because as you can see this is like lagging for no reason I'm running only Dokkan on it yo I'm still convinced that Apple has like a button that they hit every time a brand new iPhone is announced where they just kind of shut down older iPhones it's ironic how it happened right as uh, the new ones were announced thought about getting the 8 but like I said it's already gonna be expensive as is so might as well just get the better one and then from there have a better phone to work with over the course of the next couple of wow it's two back to back um have a better phone to work with over the next couple of years the good news is once i get that phone i know i'll be set with that phone for you know a couple of years as opposed to having to worry about it breaking down in the next couple of months um the other good th good thing is i do need some more elder kai's so and i do main on jp so getting elder kai's on my Jap japanese account is way more productive than it is in my global on the global i just wanted to kind of see if i can go for it and again i didn't use my discount stones um from uh from kid boo as well as angel goku i don't really know what what, what uh, they came from but i had some discount stones i figured why not just try it and see what i get with, with it and unfortunately i'm getting nothing uh but if you want to watch that video you can go back on my channel a day ago and go check that out yeah all right first one is off to a fantastic start with literally nothing uh, <laughs> They gave me a bunch of mole rats and then finished off with the champion himself, Hercule. And uh, I guess I'll jump into the next one. I'll do one more multi and then I'll do some singles as well as the group summon and then finish off with one more multi and then we'll call the video there. But let's see what happens. I might do this a couple times, I'm gonna be real with you. Because I figure since I'm this close, literally just one go out of the way. Although I know every time I go for an LR, I don't actually pull it. So there's also that, which I think is partially a curse uh, when it comes to me. But then again, I might get lucky and we'll see what happens. And then I'll finally have a rainbow wheel. LR Gohan, Will, Will Stiles, LR Gohan. Uh, so we kick it out with a Guldo, another uh, Trunks. So let's talk about LR Bojack. So <laughs> if you watch my break, hey, we got an SSR. If you watch my breakdown video, uh, showing off what he actually says, I kind of got my point across what I was trying to say. I don't like the fact that we as players were given the opportunity to like make it look like that we get to actually decide what happens in the game, and then nothing happened with that. Of course, I speak my LR Vegito Bloom. Before you say it, Rhyme Style, that is a global thing. It's not. The LR election was on a Japanese version as well. So it's like, and of, of course, it even affects the Japanese version. If LR Vegito Blue comes out, it'll come out on Global and JP. Global might get like a day or two early, but for the most part, it's coming out on both versions of the game. And they know how popular Vegito Blue is, it would literally print money. Um, so the fact that they've given us so many LRs after that, and I, I get it. Look, I understand licensing takes for a long time. Forever. A long time. It takes forever. In a long time but it's been months now at this point it's safe to say that the paperwork and everything is done the car is probably finished and they're just kind of sitting on it waiting to do whatever the hell they're trying to do so it's like giving us these in-between LRs in the meantime is kind of like a slap in the face now 
Bojack is cool. He is actually a really good card. Wow, this is a terrible multi summon. As you guys saw, he hits really hard. He's uh, actually useful. And uh, I feel like that's going to get overlooked because, like, we want Vegito Blue and, you know, Beerus and Super Saiyan 4 Goku. And when, when Bojack comes out, I'm excited to start another race with, uh, with Nano to see who can pull him first because those LR battles are always, like, really, really fun to do between me and my friends. And of course, that's us. Uh, but as far as Bojack, it's like, it wasn't necessary. Nobody asked for this. Uh, but it is what it is. I'm gonna go ahead and do one single, and then we'll do the group summons if you wanna jump in. But it's, it's still, it still kinda sucks. It's like, just give us, just give us Vegito Blue, and then from there you can drop however many LRs you want. I don't care. Uh, the other thing to point out is, now that I've seen the new meta, which consists of a basically plus 4 key and then 100% attack defense HP, and it's like super extreme types, depending on what attribute it is. We saw with LR Goten and Trunks. Now we saw with Bojack for intelligence cards. I'm pretty 85% sure that uh, we can further squash the theory that when LR Vegeta Blue comes out, it probably will not be a, um, a, a awakening of the current one. They're probably just gonna take that meta and build off of that and do it like, I don't know, physical 100% attack, defense, HP, 70% for extreme types, and that's probably gonna be like the card they're gonna go for. Or they might even release uh, like Strength Vegeta Blue or Tech Vegeta Blue, I don't really know. Like, I feel like they're gonna follow that meta, which again, would also piss people off even more. So it's like, the decision that Akatsuki is making recently, it's kind of like, what are you guys doing? But yeah, let's talk about that down below. So I might do another discussion video later this week with a couple of my friends to, you know, further address the whole LR controversy and just LRs in general, because I feel like LRs are just like, they, they, they've they lost their meaning. And I talked about this in a video a couple months ago with Nano. If you wanna go check that out, I might, if I remember to add it in the description below, I will. But yeah. I don't want to talk too much about that because I already talked about it before. All right, pick a game of choice. I like how people have been sending me screenshots showing me that you're doing group sevens and duel links now, and other games as opposed to just Dokkan. Not that I'm, you know, sm uh, trying to like talk trash to, to, uh, to Dokkan. It's just cool to see that the game or the group summon meta has spread to many games. With that said, pick a game of choice. I'm gonna count us down, and we're all gonna summon together. Three, two, one, bam! Of course. <laughs> Every time I do a group summon, it always ends up being something like this. Unless it's a surprise, it's not. It's not going to be a surprise by guys. It's Booty Ginyu! I feel like when you get Booty Ginyu, it's also just a slap in your face as a player. It's like, oh. Not only is it rare, but it just Ginyu's butt in my face. Fantastic. With that said, whatever you guys pulled, uh, you can just tweet me at RhymeStyle or uh, comment down below as well if you don't have Twitter or any other stuff. And let me know uh, if you were lucky or unlucky and all that good stuff. Alright, jump into the next one. Five singles, and then we'll finish off with a multi and then call it a day. Um... I'm hoping that I can get what I'm looking for, which again is a really small percentage because getting an LR in general is hard, and to hunt for it is always like it's it's, it's ridiculous. But uh, <laughs> every Dokkan tuber is at, at some point has hunted LRs, and a lot of them have have uh, succeeded. So you see that, and you kind of rinse and repeat and keep doing it again until you get the next one. So that's the way we get in this one. Uh, Piccolo. Next one is four more, and then we're gonna jump into the multi summon. Yeah. It's, I wonder what they're going to do with Vegito Blue. The bigger question I have now is not whether or not they are going to make it a brand new card. The bigger question I have is whether or not they're going to have the counter mechanic. SJ1? Like, uh, no. Is whether or not they're going to have a counter mechanic. Because I feel like one of the arguments I've been seeing in the community for like the past couple months is the counter is like a staple to Vegito Blue. Or to Vegito in general. Which to be fair... That was only introduced with Super Vegito and then given to Vegito Blue as well. But the other Vegito cards never actually had it. So, uh, if he gets released and ends up not having the counter mechanic, will that affect you, uh, your want for the card? Let me know in the comment section below as well. I just know that when Vegito Blue is released, he just needs to be cool. I don't care what they give him, as long as he's cool and unique in his own way and fun to use and has flashy animation, that's been good enough for me. Well, technically, he's already good enough for me as is because Vegito Blue is such a cool character. Uh, but the actual abilities and everything else that are given, like the passives and links and yada yada yada, will be the extra stuff. But something else I feel like is also going to happen is um, the theory has been going around whether or not Vegito Blue, when he comes out, so many rares, will be a category leader. And honestly, I don't think he's going to be, just due to the fact that, like I said, they're following a different meta with the brand new LRs. And with the newest one released with Goten and Trunks and now Bojack as well, I smell a lot of LRs coming out over the course of the next couple months. So uh, it's going to be interesting with Dokkan. Again, in Japan, Dokkan is all about the, the card collection simulator. That's what it is. Over here in the global, and I guess the rest of the part of the world, we want more. We want events. We want multiplayer, which would be really, really cool. Yada, 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 yada. So it's like, I wonder if they're going to like figure out a good medium where both worlds kind of like cross and it's like we're both happy. Japan got their card uh, collection simulator. We over here got that as well as other modes. I just want to play the game. 
Like, I just wanted to sit back and play the game, and that's all I want as a fan of the game. So, also feel free to discuss that down below. And I also feel like that's going to be a good talking topic at some point as well later this week. Whew! Just thought, like, three video ideas as I'm sitting here doing this. Alright, last one. Last summon of the video, and that's going to be, uh, that's going to be a wrap. Again, top left corner, or top right corner, actually. This is my left, but this is right, whatever. Uh, there's gonna be a button, click that, take the poll, and let me know what kind of uh, Dokkan content you guys like to see the most, and we'll take it from there. If I forget to add the poll, please let me know. Because usually when I forget to do stuff, people tell me, hey, Rob, you forgot. And I, I know I briefly looked through the comments yesterday, and I don't think I saw anybody mentioning it. Unless I put it in a different video and forgot which one I put it in because I recorded a lot this past week, but we'll see what happens. All right. Got my second Gouldo of the video, and kicked it up with the Ginyu, let's see, and a Kui, okay, so we got three rares to start it off with, oh my gosh. Oh, it's like, what is that? It's it's the Bull Cut Gohan from Namek, actually this is a really good support unit. I wish that they didn't like, uh, make the support units irrelevant, because they started releasing these 40% units back when like the mono teams were like the meta to go with, but then they released categories, and now it's like there's no real reason to run, um, the 40% units anymore. Because like they only affect certain types. So if you run a mono team, yes, but if you run a category team, not really. So I wonder if they're gonna do anything with them. Uh, but by the way, two SSRs in this multi summon, so that's a good way to finish off at least. So uh, I mean, I guess I have an option if I want to run a mono team. I can always tap into the 40% units to get that extra damage and defense and key. But uh, again, there's that card. It has almost the same pose as Gohan. Um, cooler. I think we have one more after this. No, that was the last one. All right, so no Gohan today. Uh, I might honestly come back tomorrow again with another attempt at this, just because I'm so close. <laughs> I feel like now that I'm like one Gohan away, it's never gonna drop ever again. But you know, while this banner is around, I'm gonna try it a couple times and we'll see what happens. So uh, hopefully you'll have fun with that kind of content. I know some videos are usually preferred as far as Dokkan content, but I know the second they release new events and stuff like that, it's gonna be a mix and match of all that stuff. With that said, polls in the corner of the video. Let me know your thoughts on what your favorite Dokkan content actually is. Uh, and I guess we'll take it from there. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of the day. My name is Ryan Style. See you guys next time. Peace.